Hey, 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 happy day 26 of our Get Up and Go Challenge. We're gonna talk about spirit soap today. What the heck is spirit soap? Spirit soap is, of course, the S of our seven major areas of our life, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, and contribution. And S means spiritual. Okay, this is a tough one to talk about for most people, and me especially, because I have had some interesting spiritual experiences in my life experiences that most people haven't had. In 2010, I had a sudden cardiac arrest and I died. I actually passed away for a while. And lucky for me, I went down in a place where the bartender knew CPR. And yeah, I wasn't out drinking at a bar. I was leaving a city council meeting and cutting through a bar down to my Italian food manufacturing business. And lucky for me, the bartender knew CPR, started working on me until the first responders in the police car could get there to jumpstart my heart and get me going again. And after, you know, about a week or so of being frozen and in a coma, I was, I woke up, I, w I was back again, which was, it's a whole that could talk at least a whole day or write a whole book about just that experience itself. But it changed me and it changed my understanding and knowing of our spiritual essence, us as human beings. To me, spiritual means us as human beings, us as more than just the person that we show up as, the body and the life that we're living right here, right now. Uh, and it, for, it's different for each of us. That's why we talk about each of these areas. What it means to be physically fit to me is totally different than what it means to be physically fit to you. What it means to be spiritual to me is different than it means to you. I mean, I was raised a, a good Catholic. I grew up Catholic, went to church every Sunday and every holiday. Uh, when I didn't go to Catholic school, but I did send my kids to Catholic school. So I was raised Catholic. And then after this experience, it totally changed my personal beliefs about religion and about spirituality. But that doesn't matter. We want to use our SOAP model to get us from where we are to where we want to be with respect to your spirituality, with respect to my own spirituality. So for example, the S, in, and if I'm looking at my spiritual well-being, what, what does that even mean to me? First, maybe what we need to do is say, what, do, what does spirituality mean to me? Is it God? Is it the universe? Is it a higher power? Is it the big version of me, the, my, my soul, my spirit, as compared to you know, my physical being? Is it um, my connection to other people? Is it my connection to my higher power, to God or the universe or all that is, all one? Whatever you believe, what do you believe? What do you believe right now? What did you, you know? What did you believe when you were a kid? What I believe when I was a kid, what I believe right now, and what I want for my future? Three totally different things, and they're all related. It's an all an evolutionary process, but they're totally different than what I had expected or thought they would have been when I was a kid or when I was a a, a teenager or when I was in my 20s or as a as a young mom it's it changes over time and our development with ourself as a spiritual being and with our higher power whatever that is for you uh, and it's you know it's it's similar and different for all of us it's about that relationship with that being that entity however you see it so I ask myself of course in the ass of soap where, I, where am I now? What do I believe right now? What is my situation right now? And then what do I want it to be? What is my vision, my ultimate vision that I want for myself as a human being, as a spiritual being, for my soul? You know, What does that look like for, for you? What does that look like for me? Then I say, okay, well, now that I know where I am and where I want to be, I've identified that there's a gap there, right? It, unless, of course, you're one of the very fortunate people that are exactly 100% where you want to be spiritually and, and develop spiritually. I say as human beings, we're almost all continually improving and ever evolving into the being that the best version of ourself. And so God bless you, heaven help, you know, whatever, if you think you're already done and you're already at the ultimate pinnacle, you know, maybe there are some monks in the Himalayas or something that, that are 100% spiritually evolved in their minds or in their beliefs and in their systems and their way of being. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's outside my realm of experience, but I wanna know where I am, where I wanna be, identify that gap and then start to brainstorm as O options. What are, what are the possible ways that I can get from where I am to start moving toward where it is that I wanna be? 
then I'm going to pick one of those things. I'm going to take action on it. And I'm going to see what kind of a result I get. Do I feel better? Do I feel worse? And do I need to try that thing again? Maybe I decide that I'm going to start a meditation or prayer practice every day or every Sunday I'm going to do something volunteer work or something something that makes me feel better as a human being and moves me toward my vision of what I want to be like as the ultimate version of myself because our personal development is really our spirit part of it is our spiritual development right yeah in business and in finances we learn skills we learn how to handle money we learn different trades we learn how to be an expert at something but that's just one aspect or a couple aspects of our life, right? It's, it's how do we really show up in the world? How do we connect with other human beings? And yeah, that's about relationships, but how do we connect with ourselves and with a higher power? To me, that's spiritual. And you know, yep, it's our relationship with ourselves. but generally our relationship with ourself has a very spiritual component to it. So, you know, is it faith? Is it hope? Is it belief? Is it higher power? Is it that we're all connected? Is it that there's one God that oversees us all and guides us all. Whatever your belief is, wherever you are now to wherever you want to go, what are the options to move you toward that? Take an action toward it. Then note the results. Did it move you? Does it make you feel better? I always am like, all right, how I measure progress is am I feeling better about and like I'm moving toward the thing that I want, the ultimate vision of what I want. If I am, I will either do more of that or create a habit or a system out of it. If I'm not, I'll try something else. I think it's exciting when we actually don't get it right. I, I, I think I'm in a, a group of people that um, build funnels, we, we build, which is really just a sales process. And so many people think they're just going to, you know, funnel hack. They're going to create this perfect funnel. They're going to throw it out there and then they're going to be a millionaire. I don't know. I don't know if I know anyone who has launched a funnel and it worked perfectly the first time. I don't think that it has. Even Russell Brunson, the king of funnels, has had to test and tweak and do all kinds of things to get his funnels to work properly. And even when they launch one, nowadays, after years and years of practice and experience and, and over a decade of teaching other people how to do it, they still aren't perfect the first time. They, they might get success, but they want more success. It's a continually improving progress process to make progress just like it is with us individually. So then I'll, I'll figure out what works and I'll do more of it. I'm always testing and tweaking and looking for ways to continually improve to make progress faster, easier, more efficient, more effectively, uh, things that feel better for me. So that's, that's spiritual soap. That's just an example of spiritual soap. So today, as your action item, your play item, your thing to do, go through this with something spiritual and it can be as big or as small we've learned that it can be anything right we can use this for anything maybe with church being closed and maybe it's open in your area it's, it's still closed in my area maybe with church being closed and not being able to do it a mass or things that's a, a real outage for you and you haven't really got connected with online services or whatever maybe that's a thing and you just want to find a way to feel more involved and more connected with what's going on right now maybe you use the soap framework or not maybe use a soap framework to walk yourself through that exercise or maybe it's you're feeling like something's missing and you just need to go online and do a google search and try to find other people that are feeling the same way that you are to explore something with respect to your spirituality that will make you feel better more connected to other people it's a time right now that's unprecedented in our history where people are feeling lonely and alone and depressed and anxious and disconnected because of the physical separation and the things that we're not doing that we were doing just month, a few short months ago that now we're just not able to get together and do i'm actually going to a wedding a small wedding for the first time in six months on sunday and i'm really excited about it there's only going to be like 10 of us there but I'm really excited because it's 10 people I get to see all at the same time. Um, so that lifts my spirit. That makes me feel good. Look, I feel so good and excited about that. And so maybe there's just little things like that or little calling somebody up, having a Zoom call with them. Whatever lifts your spirits and works for you, run through the SOAP framework for any situation that you're currently facing and see with respect to your spirit and see how that makes you feel. If you're brave, share in the comments below, hey, I did this on that and this is what happened. Otherwise, just go out and have a, an amazing, connected, spirit-filled day 
and I'll be with you tomorrow. We're gonna to go through all seven keys. I wanted to make sure that in the 30 day challenge, I did at least a quick example of each of the seven areas. We went deep into physical, when we went deep into financial, we went deeper into relationships, but that still left four areas of our seven that I hadn't really touched on and used and showed you how we could do the SOAP framework. So I wanted to spend a day going through the other four. And so we've done three of the four. Tomorrow we'll do contribution. I'll, I'll walk through an example of that got it written down. I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet, but I'll figure it out between now and then um, because a lot of us want to make the world a better place. And to me, that's what contribution is. How am I going to show up in the world? So we'll talk about how we use the SOAP framework for that. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. I'd love to do a live Q&A session where we can really go deep into anything that you are uh, feeling challenged or struggling with or that you want more clarification or more examples of on any area or aspect of our lives. Because like I said, once you install a process like this into your being, it just becomes automatic. I actually have to think really hard about, okay, well, how do I apply the SOAP framework to my spirituality? Because I don't even think through the steps anymore. They just are so automatic. My brain and my subconscious just automatically puts me through them. Got a, a challenge today coming up. Didn't know it was happening. What's the first thing I do? I just automatically say, okay, what's the situation? Where is, what is it now? Where do I want it to be? And I do that with everything now, and, and you can too. All right, have an awesome day. I will, of course, see you tomorrow.